Hey guys, I am going to show you how to use a Google add-on in your Google Docs to add music notation to anything that you're working on in Docs or Slides. So, first thing you want to do is open up a blank Google Doc, and then you want to go to add-ons. And you probably don't have it installed yet, so you're going to go down to get add-ons. When it comes up, I always type in music. And mine says installed, but the one that you're looking for is flat for docs. Flat for docs. So once you click that, uh, you'll have one that says install. So you can hit install. And then if you go back here, flat for docs has shown up. So let's say I am making a sheet of practice exercises for band. Let's say I want to do it for a clarinet because I play clarinet. So call it text. practice exercises. I'm going to go to my add-on. I'm going to go to flat for docs. And insert musical snippet. It's a fun little word snippet. All right. So I want a single staff. And it automatically defaults to a 4-4. Four, four. Um, I'm not quite sure what the tempo is, but it's already got all of those things in there. So let's say I want my kids to practice going over the break. So I'm going to do... Okay, so I noticed that it kind of, it'll spit out a new measure every time, but I'm going to go to measure. I'm going to hit this little minus that says remove measure, so it'll take it off the end. Uh -huh. And let's say I just want to make this a repeat. I'm just going to let them practice that over and over again. So I can play it, make sure it sounds right. And let's say maybe my students need a little help with um, keeping the steady beat. So I'm going to hit metronome count in to give them a little extra boost. So I'm happy with it. It's exactly what I want. It looks the way I want it. I'm going to hit insert. And there it is. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can change where I put it on the page. But there it is. And then if I want to add another one, I can just go down a little farther, go to add-ons, jump back in there. And let's say I want to add it for, um, say I want to change the time signature. I'm feeling a little dangerous and I'm going to change the time signature. So I'm going to go to measure time signature. And let's, let's go to three, four. Let's be really dangerous here. And even better, I'm going to change the key signature. And let's say I want to do a half note. There it is. Let's just have the metronome on for the whole thing. Nope. Not playing right now, but that's okay. That's what I want. 
So I'm going to put it in there. See what happens. Boom. I have another one. So that is just one simple application for using flat for docs. If you have other cool things that you've figured out how to do with it, or you've made worksheets, or you've done it in Google Slides, and you want to share that, please share it. That would be really cool. All right. I hope that was helpful. Bye.